I'm recording scores and games and averages in a Google Sheet, but I actually want to create a Google Form so that other people can put information into my sheet without having to give them access to my sheet. I'm gonna go up to Tools, create a new form, click on that, and it will load a new form. Immediately before I do anything at all, the sheet will have a new tab. It'll be called Form Responses 1. On the tab of the actual form, I can start to name each of the items that I wanna be filled out. I can copy it and if I type in something like email and type in score and instead of a short answer, maybe there is a specific type of data that I want. That is going to be added with these three dots here, more options, response validation. And I wanna make sure that this is a number and it has to be a number greater than zero, for instance, for scores because there might not be a score of zero. Once I have our name and score here, I can go back to the sheet and see that name and score have been updated already in Form Responses 1. I can also rename this Form Responses 1 by double clicking on the name Form Responses 1 and writing scores here. I can preview the form by clicking on the I in the upper right corner. I can type in Eric, score nine, submit. And once I've submitted a response, it is already here in the table. If I don't want this as a table, this is a fairly new addition or new feature to Google Sheets. If I do not want this as a table, I can click on the down chevron or the down arrow next to form responses one, and I can select revert to unformatted data. This is the old style of Google form responses. If I don't want to have the option of submit another response, I'm gonna to go to settings, click on responses, the down arrow here, and I'm going to select limit to one response. One thing you need to be aware of when you create a Google form is that if you're making a form in a workspace, it will automatically be restricted to users in your workspace. So you need to uncheck this so that anyone, if you want anyone outside of your workspace to be able to reply and give you form responses, they can. So now when I enter a response, Andy 10, submit. See, it does not have that link to submit another response. And all of the answers are here. Hope you enjoyed watching how to create a Google form in Google Sheets. There's far more here on Better Sheets on YouTube. So subscribe and get way more out of Google Sheets than ever before.